na najua ni wengi ambao hawakufurahia vile tulifanya tunajua tu tunasikiza huko na huko hata wengine upande yangu hata wengine upande yake hivyo ndivyo ukweli kwa sababu they thrive when there is commotion they thrive when there is commotion and we heard you uh, sifuna talk about that, that those who would thrive in the same now have nothing to talk about and of course have found a different battle ground which is internally the president also said when he was leaving that uh, it was a funeral service uh, for Matiba, uh, the late Matiba. He said, being loud will not make you the deputy president if it becomes president running mate. And this was targeted to central leaders. In fact, singling out some of your names in that instance. What do you say to those remarks? Singling out? Yes. He was, you think you've shot the loudest, mtakuwa. He actually mentioned names. He mentioned some names, yes. Okay. Uh, yes do you he remember did. the exact names? Yes. He did wewe na wewe kazi yenu ni kufanya kazi. Fanyeni kazi. Wacheni hii mazungumzo mingi. He names he named a few, not all, a few. Well, maybe you name them. Forgetting the exact names, the president is clear that people are focused so much on elections. On his succession than on delivering. Don't you find that disconcerting? You know, uh, uh, Sophie as leaders and as politicians. Yes. Um, everyone will be accountable to their people, to the electorate. Correct. Yeah? And if you do not work, your fate is sealed with the people, period. So uh, maybe some people are doing that, but I'm saying that at the end of the day, people, everyone, each one of us, within the next four years, we're going to face the electorate. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the, deep, the deputy president is campaigning? Do you think he's going ahead of time with this? rounds and the president has said anatanga tanga well I, i've never heard of him asking for votes i've never heard of him even say that that's not to the only way to campaign yeah it's not the only way to campaign to ask for votes at least not overtly you could do it covertly well i can only co comment on the overt yeah yeah i cannot comment on the covert how would i know what is in some so your mind? actions and those the president was castigating are not out of order to go around with the deputy president and keep talking about 2022. You know, yesterday, mm -hmm. we were in the Rakanidi County. Yes. We had uh, two roads, a hospital, a KMTC, and, uh, and a school. Yeah? So clearly, that is really on the path of development. It is, but I want us to repeat that bite. Director, if you would, please, the bite by Moses Kuria, the, the, what he said there, because you did not talk about those things you just mentioned. Let's hear what you said, if you can. Uh, please, okay, I understand he stepped out. But you talked about even if I'm the last man standing, I will stand with Ruto. You did is, not talk about the isn't, project. Isn't, uh, well, you can, you can choose to, to pick my speech selectively, yeah? But remember, but I was also there as that. the vice chair of the, of the roads committee. Right. And we were launching a road. And I talked about the roads and what we have done, what a person I had done to, you know, to help to deliver the roads that we are open. Okay, let, let's listen. Let's hmm? listen. I understand it's ready. Makamu wa rais akasimama na sisi mimi Moses Kuria mtoto wa maskini hata nikibaki peke yangu nitakuwa nyuma ya makamu wa rais mpaka ingee So that's the narrative Mr Kuria around the narrative of hasla mimi maskini nitasimama na wewe that is in and of Do, itself full. Don't we think that we all need to start with each other is there anything wrong with starting for each other Am I saying I'm not going to Why didn't you say else? you're standing with the president? Yeah? Uh. Well, did I say I'm not standing with the president? Why are you trying to make it like it's mutually exclusive? So you know, uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about this so-called uh, politics of development. Uh, Mushimua Kuria, you, you, are, you sit on the budget committee. You know that parliament is the one that allocates resources for every single project of development that is, is there. Number two, this uh, development is carried out essentially using our taxes, money that we pay to government ourselves. Mm. We do not come to launch our taxes. When we pay these taxes, we don't make hula baloo about it. We don't call rallies. When I'm taking my check to the uh, Commission of uh, Domestic Taxes, I don't call a press conference. I just do it because that I, is my I, responsibility. I, I, I no, no, let me just finish. That, that, that is, is that my responsibility. Launching, launching a project. That, uh, th that's what I'm saying. Because, you know, we did even go to court uh, during the last uh, campaign uh, to give effect 
to the requirement of the law that we should not use this development, so-called development projects as a campaigning tool. It is something that we expect as Kenyans because we pay taxes. Mm -hmm. It is not something that should be used that, uh, oh, this one, we've come to launch roads, so 2022, we are with you. If you listen to the MPs, and Moses Kuri is no ex exception, who speak at uh, Ruto's rallies and events, you would think that Parliament allocates Ruto money for all the development, and it is Ruto who decides which road to build, and he has been very good to the people of Nyeri, he has built this road here. And yet these are members of Parliament who should know that in fact it is them who allocate money for every single project in this country. Okay. And it is our money. Kabuk, so this yeah. issue of hiding behind development, that there's a hospital here, there's a hospital there. And one of the things that is uh, coming out very clearly, I've just seen uh, a report somewhere, that just in the past two days alone, the DP has been at Harambe's where he has contributed a total of 20 million shillings over the period of two days. We want also, like Kenyans were filing taxes, we want him to show us his tax returns. How much money is it that he is making? How can somebody who is responsible for a country that is failing do so well in his private business? How come this business acumen cannot be translated into the country so that we all prosper? Okay. If you listen to Kuria, he said before this show began, that we are doing badly as a country. We have no money. How come that people are able to give contributions of 20 million over a period of two days? And when you ask where is this money coming from, you are told that he's an, uh, an astute businessman. All right. So I'll ask you this, Kafogo. You said that the Mount Kenya region do not owe the deputy president any debt in as far as... Do you still stand by that statement? No, no that's not what I said. That it's I, not automatic. I said, I said that uh, it is not automatic. Yes you need to come and convince us through work, through development, through making sure that the lives of Kenyans have changed. You still then stand by that position? Stand. Not only for the deputy president, even for any other candidate in any other position. If you have held a position for five years, like I did in Kambu, if I did not convince you by my work, then you don't vote for me. Some are arguing that the actions of those like uh, Mr. Kuria, who support the deputy president, may have been promised something, and that is why they're all jostling and positioning themselves. Do you agree with that kind of sentiment? I, it's difficult, but you, you know... You're a politician. You, you know, know how people angle. I told angle. you Kenyan politics mm -hmm. mostly is about money. So You will see politicians going to a meeting, like that getting one, money. Arambe, mm -hmm. and you see them all contributing 50,000. Big question. <laughs> <laughs> is this money from them or from somewhere? Uh, and you know, people need to take the president seriously this time. I have never seen the zeal that I'm seeing President Kenyatta with yeah. in as far as issues of corruption are concerned. You know, if the country is broke, as Mishima Kuri is saying, or really there is not enough money uh, to do all the things that need to be done, let President Kenyatta leave one legacy, a corrupt, free Kenya. A corrupt free Kenya. Forget about the other big four. Free Kenya, free of corruption. The nation will grow at a tremendous rate. Okay. Do you think the handshake and the jitters it appears to have caused in some quarters makes Raila Odinga a spoiler for Jubilee? And it's because after that is when we started seeing, you know, as we said earlier, the battleground move from that antagonism between the opposition and government to Jubilee, which is in government. Of course, every face has got its own issues. Right. And what you are seeing now also is a, a, a corrective stage of, of our politics. It happened, you know, from 1997. You know, we were there during that election. And after the election, you know, uh, even when uh, Raila started cooperating with Moi, a different face came. We saw it after 2002. After, and, and, and after, after, after some time, when uh, Kibaki and Laira were, in, were sharing the same government, you start seeing a new face after the election. We saw it after two weeks. So it's, it's not new. It is dynamics of realignment of politics that, that is bound to happen. Yes. And yeah. are these realignments towards blocking the deputy president, in your view? Blocking him from? Ascending to power. No, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think the deputy president wants any free passes. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, that is a misconception that, that is there out there. Nobody wants free passes, yeah? And at the end of the day, as we have done within the custom of our, of our constitution, every five years, we go for elections. And on the, on the, on the, on the, on the second Tuesday of, of August in the year 2022, there's going to be an election. Yeah. That is, that is, it cannot be gainsaid. Right. Yeah. Sefuna, 
ODM and NASA as a whole running in the 2017 elections, you know, there was electoral justice that was on the campaign and manifesto and all these other things that you've strongly talked about. Following this handshake, uh, we now do not hear a lot of that. That space appears to have been diminished. And that is why many people are saying, or there are people who are arguing that this is a selfish uh, ambition handshake in that perhaps they're coming together for political ends, perhaps Raila Odinga to be able to run for a fifth time. First of all, we continue to speak uh, about those issues. And uh, if you say you've not heard us speak, it's because you don't want to hear us. We have been uh, uh, directed to focus all our attention on the nine-point agenda in the MOU that was signed between President Kenyatta and uh, Raila Odinga. And uh, issues of uh, divisive election is uh, one of the issues on, on, on that menu. So for us, uh, one of the things that we were advised to do is to actually give uh, the uh, committee that was formed uh, time to be able to uh, ventilate these issues, and I'm sure they will be rolling out their program going across the country to have this discussion with Kenyans, and that the proposals that they come out with, uh, we should be able to, to, to pursue those proposals to address the issues of uh, electoral injustice and all the other issues that uh, we had well, raised. Record, saying electoral justice is not an issue that Handshake um, said would discuss. Well, I don't know. Maybe he has problems reading. Because uh, if you read the MOU that was signed, divisive election is a matter that is uh, on the table. And uh, it doesn't have to be put in the exact words that uh, we are going to discuss electoral justice. But all the issues uh, that surround uh, elections in Kenya that make them so divisive, including remarks by uh, Honorable Kuria during elections. Uh, I am sure it will be discussed, although his name is not there. Let me just uh, talk about the issue of uh, political deaths. Uh, first of all, uh, I have seen people uh, posit on, on social media that, in fact, uh, members of the Kikuyu community, if they are going to pay any debts, they are starting with those debts that have matured, uh, like the ones from 1963, uh, which uh, I believe is owed to uh, members of the local community or Raila Odinga's family, uh, or even the one from 2002 of uh, Kibaki Tosha. But uh, speaking from the position of ODM and the thinking around the party is that, uh, as Mwishimua Kabogo has said, politics is persuasion. Uh, we have no intention at all of standing anywhere in this country and saying, you must vote for us because we did this and this for you. I mean, the truth of the matter is that we have tried all these years as a political party, when we have presented a presidential candidate, to convince every Kenyan, including our brothers and sisters from uh, central Kenya, uh, uh, that we could actually be uh, an alternative government and do things better. But okay. we have not succeeded in the previous elections. All right. What we want to do is to keep trying. We know that it is very difficult, especially because of people like Moses Kuria. They they say a lot of things about uh, us and our candidate uh, that has soiled the waters there. But I am sure that uh, given an opportunity again to try and persuade the people of Central Kenya. Raila would run that's again. Absolutely. You know, as Kenyans, yeah. we like reading too much on things and assuming yeah. and making, you know, statements that really are misplaced. If you want to know what these two gentlemen said, there was a public uh, um, appearance oh, yeah. up okay, ICC, and they both talked and they said, we have been in elections, and every time we have elections, we have issues that divide us more than uh, uh, necessary. And they said, we've put our heads together. We want to work on this. Mm. So really, what was the point? Elections. So let me pause. Are, are you with me? Yeah. So it is elections that divide us. Every five years, we have this problem. And okay. they said, we need to address it so that we can take Kenya forward. So when anyone says that election is not an issue, I am hoping that one day we shall do elections. And the day that the elections are announced, business as usual. You and posted, we don't have this yeah. you know, tug of war. You posted a picture of yourself meeting the former prime minister. Yes, I did. Raila Odinga, also the deputy president. Yes, I did. And then, very soon President Moy, and if I, I got a chance. And I understand uh, you were invited to the meeting the other day between Raila Odinga and the central Kenya leaders and declined. I am not sure whether you have the right information. I, I understand that, uh, so I have put it to you They told me too. that morning that they have leaders going to see Raila Odinga. And I had just come in from Britain. I had just landed that morning. And I said, no, I'll pass. Really, I, I did not uh, decline. So and then again, I speak to Raila Odinga quite often. So I didn't see the need of me rushing there for that lunch. You said um, your political misfortunes were as a result of... Uh, the comment you made that was seen to 
Well, again, people be read, against no, people read many things. And that's why and you're here, and that's why I'm putting it to you, so that you set the again. record straight and for I, us I will keep between saying the, the same two. Thing. Mm -hmm. And I keep, and you know, uh, sometimes people don't want to tell the world the real truth. When I spoke about that issue, two months later, I accompanied the deputy president somewhere in um, uh, Rift Valley, and he said, "Who you, Kabogo? Who you?" Hakuna kitu wamefanya, ile ya mefusema, ni hiyo mimi najua kufanya, na hata tunafanyanga na yeye. Kuzunguka, nitazunguka. Kazi nitafanya, nitajitafutia kura. Utapawa kura na mnagani eh, kama wewe hujaitisha, ama mm -hmm. na mnagani, my friend. Eh? So, unakumbuka hiyo statement yake? Okay. So he knows what I was talking about. I have no issues about him wanting to become president. My issue now, can we now forget the issue of elections? Convince us, Bana Kenyatta, Bana Ruto, convince us by working and unifying Kenya. You now don't have a problem of Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. He's out of the way. He is one of us now. Yeah. Why don't we now see Raila Odinga, Uru Kenyatta, William Ruto, and any other leader like Musali Mudavadi yeah. come together, sit on a round table, let's discuss Kenya and how Kenya will move forward. So does it bother you how the president has been referring to his deputy? Kijana. I think the president and the deputy know each other far too well for some of us to attempt to interpret such, such kind of things. I think the, the, I think he's always said, called him William or my brother. That is what we've had over and over again. But I, now I, he says, who you Kijana? I think it was overplayed. I think it was, was over, it? it was overplayed. And if you know the president's demeanor in any case, he's not going to disrespect anyone. You know, uh, even, uh, even like I said enemies. again, people want to read so much, so much. on some of these things. So there's nothing the there. The deputy so president much. has referred to the president as who you Jama. Yeah. You, you understand? All this Kutangatanga is meetings, all presidential language. So now you Jama and you Mdosi. So yeah. people, Maybe want people to are not used to casualness at that level. Can we move from that language? But the leader of majority it's has confirmed an level. issue. So what do you think, Murkom, and who are these people within the president's circle he's referencing as the ones rocking the boat? Well, that, 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 that's a question that only Murkom can answer. So you don't think there's a problem? I don't think there's a problem at all. No, if there is all. no problem, then Murkom is creating the problem. Yeah. Why I would mean, he create what, a problem? What, the, Why would he say that people around the president are the ones that are scheming to, to block uh, uh, the DP? Okay. So why can't you come out here and tell us? What's happening, Sophia? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, over the last few weeks, I've seen uh, people who are, and I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, but people who are not of, you know, very high, you know, uh, standing in the, in, the, in that pecking, in the political pecking order, do all sorts of things, and then everybody speculates big, big, uh, big things happening or, or, or big people happening. Just too much ado about nothing. So this parliamentary group meeting that's set to be held on Tuesday. Do you know the agenda? Well, I'm not even, I'm not even aware of, 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 of a parliamentary group meeting. Okay. Because... Because <laughs> many leaders in Jubilee have been calling for one. We understand it should be Tuesday. We'll wait to see. But in the event, it's there. It's because they're calling for it to be able to you, deal you with know, the issues that I You know, reported so, first of all, we've had so many PGs. And we're going to continue having PGs uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a party. Uh, Sivuna's party was in course the other day for a PG. Was there any speculation on why they were meeting? Because yes, that was the regular. members that because some was, members that needed to be whipped and they didn't show <laughs> there's up. No, no, was it that part of the agenda? One important. at a time. And by the way, uh -huh. Sophia, you know we are in Parliament. We just had a budget. We just passed the the, 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 the budget. We have the finance bill now in front of Parliament. The budget and the finance bill needs to be aligned to the big four. There's so many things to discuss. You know, we want to take Kenyans okay. for a ride. You know, every time leaders, we want to confuse Kenyans. Why would we say there is no problem? Murukomen has shouted there is a problem. Uh, and I'm sure that is why they are being called. Let I would say. do the same. If I was leading a party like Jubilee, and these issues are happening everywhere in media, there are talks of, you know, partying, the president and cracks in between. I've seen it on uh, newspapers. Really, if I was the leader of the party, I would call a PG. I would call and read the riot act to these fellows who are making noise, left, right, and center. Yeah. And I'm sure I have heard also on social media that the deputy president was not happy about some of those utterances of... Uh, uh, and we saw um, of, of Rift Comment. Valley members as well meeting yes, following yes. that uh, as well. But Let me say this. Uh, yeah. First of all... As uh, you say, it also comment yeah. on ODM and, you know, the castigation around Aisha Jumwa for also her 
going 2022 on the yeah, deputy no. president and saying yeah. that she should be removed. Uh, in fact, the all, process has the, begun to remove her as a the, member the of reason that, the PSC. Uh, the reason that there was not much speculation about uh, the PG at the coast is because this is a regular happening within uh, ODM. Uh, I think uh, since I became SG in uh, February, we have had at least uh, three PGs that I can think of. We have had at least two meetings of the NEC. I mean, we meet regularly. Uh, so it is not something that happens because there is a problem. Uh, for Jubilee, I think this is the first PG that I'm hearing being called. And uh, in the circumstances of what is happening in the country, it could be that the reason so, why is a follow-up is a follow-up to the there was a baraza for Kalenjin MPs at, uh, at Western Hotel this week. Now I'm sure that they want to include everybody in that discussion. But uh, I want to say something about, uh, and this is my own personal observation, Uhuru Kenyatta is not somebody who hides this day. When he doesn't feel you, he lets you know. I mean, we have seen him publicly go after judges after his uh, election was uh, annulled. Yeah, Kaita Wakora. We have seen him go after Raila Odinga using very, very strong language uh, during the campaign, uh, Mugoroki and, and, and all sorts of terms. So when you start seeing that language being directed at, uh, at uh, his deputy, uh, it is the uh, indication that he's tired of this fella. Uh, the way that he speaks about him is not the same uh, manner that he used to speak uh, uh, about him or to him uh, the previous time. So I am sure that there is some discomfort somewhere, but uh, they will not admit it. Uh, Kuria obviously will not admit that there is a problem. Yeah. You know something but very but interesting, uh, something very interesting uh -huh. that the president said recently. Yes. He said, Nini wacheni kelele, wacheni tufanye kazi. Ile maneno sisi tulip atia wananchi kama manifesto sisi kama jubilee ndio hiyo hiyo maneno nasa walipatia wananchi kwa hivyo kujini tufanye kazi and kwa nini hatutaki kusikia mwito yeah. wa rais wa kufanya kazi why are we not uh, so, so let me say something yeah. let Briefly. me finish kuria why are we not supporting these two guys to take kenya to the next level why are we pulling each other now about elections of 22 right. so let me say something here yeah. I'm sure the president had the best intention about the handshake and about coming together with the Raila Odinga and, 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 and trying to build bridges. Yeah. The minute people like Sifuna will start interpreting that the handshake was all about us in Jubilee fixing each other, is when they get it very wrong. I the handshake was that. not about, because that's, that's, that's what you are alluding about, being tired of someone and, and the demeanor and everything. No, you cannot build bridges by collapsing other bridges. Okay, and but the it's the people within Jubilee bringing it's issues. Us. It's not him. It, it is Jubilee MPs, your leader of majority in the Senate, saying that there are people in the presidency. So, uh, who is rocking the boat, really? No, wait, wait a minute. I'm just trying to respond to what he's saying about the president uh, being tired of the deputy president. And I'm saying the purpose of building bridges is not to collapse other bridges. You cannot build new bridges by, by, by demolishing the old bridges. You cannot uh, uh, rule some people in the, in, in the, in, uh, and try to win the people at the same time. So I am sure the president wanted to bring people together so that as a country you can be able to have introspection. Yeah, and ask ourselves where we are going and how we are going to deliver our agenda for the people. All right, so as, 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 as people need, need to work and they've been told was, to work by the president, was, briefly, it was please, I, uh, we have one Sophie, minute to go, yes. If it was I who was asking questions, I would ask, are all these members of Jubilee supporting the president's agenda, the big four and the fight against corruption? If they are, then what is the issue? The deputy what president the himself has come but out to say... But we have heard some of them saying, this Raila man came to rock the boat. They've been saying it. So really, Jubilee, put your act together. As people need to focus on working and delivering for the electorate, please comment on Aisha Jumwa because she has also come out like those supporting Rutos 2022. Yeah, and, uh, on, and we have briefly. made clear as a party that uh, we do not condone uh, such uh, behavior at the moment because we have taken directives from uh, the party leader that at the moment, uh, first of all, uh, we need to focus on delivering the, the agreement between uh, the president and, and, and uh, Honorable Raila Odinga. Number two, uh, I always remind people that the law on political parties and the way you should behave when you are an elected member of a political party has not changed. The Political Parties Act still remains that uh, as, a, as a, a member of ODM or, a, or as a member of Jubilee, you should not be seen to advocate the interest of another political party. Right. ODM 
remains a political party and we know that in 2022 we will still be on the ballot, we will field a presidential candidate. Yeah. So that you campaigning for a presidential candidate of another party is essentially, uh, you know, going against the interests of the party. All right, yeah. point made. Finally, five seconds to each of you as we wrap this up. This war on corruption or the scandals we keep hearing about, there are those who say this is not a real genuine war. What is happening is that largely the two sides, initially TNA, URP, now Jubilee, are throwing mad at each other. When this one comes out and this one's feel targeted, they say, okay, we also have something on you. That one is also brought out and we start hearing about it. Do you agree with that? My friend, corruption is the worst thing that can ever happen but in any country. Do you think country. it's being abused for political lens? Of course, they will try and use it. They will try and throw mad at each other. You heard the president say yesterday, if my brother is involved, let the law take his course. And I do agree with him. So really, if people have information, I saw uh, one of the bloggers uh, who had started a, um, a hashtag on uh, bringing people, people's information about what they own. We know your salaries. Yes, we know your salaries. And this has created a lot of problems. I'm saying you declared your wealth before elections last term. Why don't we remove those uh, uh, forms that okay. we declared wealth on and assess you now, what do you own that you did not own then? Where did you get it? So, so thank you. Your views? I think that let the institutions work. That's all I would say. It's not about my opinion or your opinion. It's about the institutions. And we have got institutions which are uh, vested with the power to, you know, to tackle corruption. You know, and we have got DCI, we have got ESCC, we have got DPP. Let everybody subject themselves And give to them a free hand to do what they Give, need give to. them a free hand, everything yes. will be okay. The, the, the innocent one will be vindicated and the guilty one will have to face justice. Yeah. Okay. Your view, finally. Yeah, uh, as much as we want the institutions to, to work, we have seen them crippled in the past. And it is actually good, uh, they say that uh, to catch a thief, you send a thief. It is good that uh, the cartels are outing each other. Uh, when they find uh, uh, illegal sugar in my uh, go down, I also say Moses Kuria's go down is down the road. He also has sugar. At the end of the day, if these people can clear each other for us, uh, I think we will better off as, uh, well, we will better off as a country. Institutions so that they, that, they cancel each other out. Institutions will do that. <laughs> You know, the issue, of, the issue of, for example, of sugar has go. been an, an issue every year. Every yes. year. Why don't I just call Kenyans and say, let us boycott taking sugar. Let us never import sugar again, ever, ever again. And, and we need to stop. stop this issue of trial by public opinion and trial by media and trial by, and trial by dropping big names just to attract attention. All right. Yeah. Let's, it is, uh, uh, it is your majority go. leader who sits uh, with a list of the criminals and, the, and when his court is, is when he says, I, I have a list here, Alleg he should be the first one to go in and uh, report the uh, And perhaps the those issues there. when you say is what needs to be sorted out in the PG if it does take place. There's nothing new. Uh, supporting institutions has nothing to do with the PG. So you'd not have a question for Murkomen if this PG does happen on Sunday? You'd not want to know what he's talking about? I'm sure you're going to have no, a... But so, so, many other, you want to know? so many other useful things that you can be able you to know, talk Sophie, about. You know, honestly, if okay. I was to attend that PG, yes. although I'm not a member of parliament, neither am I in active politics today, I would tell everyone, shut up. <laughs> Let the president work. He has promised Kenyans he wants okay. to work. So, Why so. are you pulling him back? Thank you very much, everybody, for being with us tonight. William Kabogo, former Kiambu governor, Moses Kuria, first governor, pioneer governor of Kiambu County. We also have Moses Sif <laughs> Edwin Sifuna, I beg your pardon, ODM Secretary General, and Moses Kuria, who's a Gatundu South Member of Parliament. Uh, thank you for being with us. A quick look at your thoughts tonight, even as we remind you the big question, which is do you think? Uh, the fight against the graft is the issue that is dividing Jubilee. We'll have that put up uh, in just a short while. This is what uh, you're saying. Come on, Monainchi. Uh, let us all see the truth about this. Uh, Jubilee politicians are corrupt to both sides, and this is the issue that is playing out. Fair play, you argue. I do not trust the deputy president. I wait to see how this will be in the next few months. Jubilee will not hold. Uh, then you have another one here from Sally. Uh, you're tweeting and saying that corruption is the monkey around all the politicians. They were divided from the very beginning, but common interest to win elections brought them together. Thank you uh, so much for those comments and many more. Fortunately, our time is up here uh, on this discussion. My name is Sophia Wanuna, wishing you a lovely evening. But my colleague, Robinson Okenya, is coming up with all your sporting action.